man accused of murdering his wife and leaving her body in a ditch is at the center of a firestorm between federal ICE officials and the Multnomah County Sheriff's Office. Welcome to Coin 6 News at 4 o'clock. I'm Dan Tilkin. And I'm Jennifer Hoff. Federal officers say that they placed an immigration hold on the suspect months before this murder. When he was previously in jail, accused of beating up his wife. Still, he was released. Tonight, our Amy Frazier has been digging into this controversy, and she joins us live with more. Amy. Well, the sheriff just held a press conference on this issue. He says the county never got the civil detainer request from ICE, and even if they had, they couldn't have honored it because of of a federal court ruling. 45 year old Martin Gallo Gallardo is now accused of murdering his wife. According to court documents, he stabbed the mother of three three times after a party last weekend, dumping her body in a ditch near a summer camp near Sandy. He was arrested back in March, accused of assaulting his wife. Ultimately, a grand jury decided not to move forward with the case after the victim was unwilling to cooperate. At the time, though, he bailed out of jail. According to federal authorities, he's a Mexican citizen who has been apprehended by Border Patrol multiple times unlawfully entering the U.S. ICE provided us with a copy of the detainer paperwork that they say they faxed to the Multnomah County Jail on March 6. The agency says it specifically requested notification of the suspect's release. The sheriff's office maintains the facts never came through. In fact, at the top of the transmission report provided to us by ICE, it says check readability of page one and three. The sheriff says they just got an error report. Multnomah County Sheriff Mike Reese had this to say this afternoon, defending the county's position. It's disingenuous to blame local law enforcement. No Oregon jail can hold someone on a civil detainer based on the federal court case Miranda Oliveras versus Clackamas County. The U.S. Attorney's Office knows this, and ICE knows this. That federal case decided in 2014 ruled that Clackamas County's detention of a foreign national because of an ICE hold violated the Fourth Amendment. Now, I spoke briefly today with a family member of the victim in the murder. Uh, she tells me she was surprised to hear that ICE wanted the suspect held back in March. She says she wishes that it happened. Reporting live in the newsroom, Amy Frazier, Coin 6 News. Amy.